Hi, I'm Janice Chu, uh, developer in Malaysia. Uh, currently, a full stack at a company in KL. Cool. Yeah. So, can you describe more of what you actually do? Uh, in terms of every day at work, so uh, we use uh, sort of like a Scrum Agile kind of thing. So generally, it will be stuff like, oh, there's a daily huddle for everyone to kind of sync up on what we're doing within the team. And then, um, well, actual coding, uh, sometimes by yourself, sometimes uh, pair programming with other people, and in certain cases, mock programming, which is sort of like more than two people uh, programming at the same time or discussing stuff. And then um, reviewing PRs, uh, discussing stuff, and sometimes uh, liaising with like, uh, the business side of things or developers from other teams to sort of like sync like, uh, we're doing this, can we do this? Or like, can we push production now? Stuff like that. Yeah, and cool. then of course, uh, testing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mostly that. And then your inevitable Slack and emails. All right. So before I move to tools, uh, uh, you said that your, uh, your organization practice agile. Is it a widespread thing? Um, if you mean throughout the company, uh, I'm not too sure. I think they have made some push towards it, but I don't know what exactly. So uh, it started mostly in tech, la, okay. I would say, and it's probably still the most practiced in tech. Right. But it's kind of quite flexible in the sense that there's no adherence to any particular methodology, just mm -hmm. the general idea that, you know, every day there's some sort of sync. Uh, every, every now and then, depending on the team, there is a sort of like a review and a sort of like retrospective mm -hmm. stuff like that, just like some structure and then you know we have our tasks in some kind of board, whether it's GitHub or Trello or Jira. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's move to tools. Uh, any tools they actually use at work uh, around the world? Um yeah so um we are all pretty much on Mac, a couple of us are on various flavors of Linux. Yeah. Uh, in terms of like servers and stuff, obviously it's all Linux in the cloud. Yeah. Uh, for me, I generally use Ruby and Elixir on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, SQL of course, mm -hmm. and then uh, sometimes uh, Python mm -hmm. for fun. Yeah, and then in terms of uh, tools for ID, people use a variety. So you know, there's like Vim, Sublime, VS Code. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be a mixed environment, isn't it? Yeah, generally a mixed environment. As far as I know, no one uses Windows, but okay. that's about it, yeah. Okay, cool. Interesting. So any... What type of app do you typically work on? Uh, in terms of types of apps, so... Um, uh, so we're sort of like the in-house tech uh, mm -hmm. for the company. Yeah. So just our customers, in a way you can say, are you know people on the business side, you know, like marketing wants yeah. uh, certain things and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. So uh, for me, I primarily do backend. Mm -hmm. So sort of like uh, a uh, like API stuff, backend stuff, server stuff, mm -hmm. database stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes front end as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. So what do you think about the conference right now? Conference has been pretty awesome. Cool. Uh, uh, PyCon uh, 2018. Uh, it's actually my first time at uh, the PyCon because I actually don't code in Python professionally. And uh, I'm mostly here because my talk got ah, okay. accepted by the uh, conference organizers, which was generating uh, poetry, Shakespearean sonnets with Python. But it's been super fun because uh, I bumped into a friend that I know from outside tech mm -hmm. who's recently started learning uh, SQL and Python mm -hmm. for some data stuff at her job, and then I bumped into another friend that I met through a tech event. So the nice part was like I had two familiar looking faces, and then I knew uh, some people like Jesslyn and Sweeming mm -hmm. from other events because I volunteer for Women Who Code. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, at least there's some familiar faces. And then of course through them, you know, they hang out with all the people they know because they are primarily in Python, and then you know you meet other people. Yeah. Then there was a speakers. Uh, uh, sponsors and volunteers mm -hmm. dinner yesterday that PyCon sponsored, so yay, thanks for the food. Uh, but it was super awesome as well because there were people from many different nationalities there. Mm -hmm. So you got like people from, in fact, my table had three Malaysians, uh, uh, one uh, Australian, uh, one guy from the Netherlands, Indonesian, uh, American, and one from India. And so we ended up accidentally having a cultural exchange, which was really, really fun. Like talking about like the different food in like different countries and like cultural beliefs there and how the working system was like there, you know, like some, in some cultures they're more direct and in some cultures it's more like unsaid expectations. So that was really fun. And we, had, we only stopped talking once, which was when Sweden came around being like, hey, we need to take a photo. So we took a photo, we shut up. And then suddenly one of the people at the table was like, you know, it's the first time I've heard the table be quiet. We looked at each other like, 
you have a point, and then we started again. So that was super fun. Yeah, and like I'm today, sorry about that. Uh, no, that's that's fine. Yeah, and then like uh, it's quite fun to come back the second day where it kind of feels a bit more like home already because yeah. it's like oh yeah, there are familiar faces to talk to and stuff like that. And the nice part also because it's dual track, mm -hmm. so if you know like you're going for one track and yeah. like someone you know is going for the other track, can be like all right, we'll update each other on what happened after that. So that sounds like fun. Yeah, and I'm also pretty happy that I was being able to follow all the talks that um, have gone on so far. Cool. So is the do you like the conference? Yeah. Cool. So, hmm, anything else that, that you think what to talk about? Uh, anything else? Any shout out? It can be a shout out. It can be how you feel about conference or whatever. Um. Anything else? I guess it will probably be nicer to see more. Uh, diversity in the conference it's just like gender representation which mm -hmm. is again one of the reasons why I'm like helping out women who code and that kind of thing yeah but I have to say that it made me super happy that there were other women who were speaking at the conference I was like yes because I've totally been at tech events where mm -hmm. I'm like the only person who's yeah. a woman that kind of thing yeah we make effort but yeah. we try yeah and I'd say like among a lot of the events that I've been to like the PyCon one has mm -hmm. been like one of the most inclusive ones so it's mm -hmm. like super fun all right, so thanks yep. for giving the interview. Thank you. So I'm going to end now. So thank you very much. Thank you.